Hi friends! I hope that you enjoying your day today. Here for our other book that we've been doing, we've been learning of course about construction sites, machines, tools, construction workers, operators of those machines. And I thought we'll read this little book here and this is called The Digger and the Flower. Hmm, look at that digger and that small little flower. I wonder what this could be about. This is by Joseph Kufler. So this, he could be the author, which is the person who writes the words, and the illustrator, the person who drew the pictures. All right, so let's see, here's our front cover. And here's our spine. Here's our back cover. Oh, look! Tire tracks from the little digger. All right. Let us jump into this book. Oh, this is going to be a long book. It was morning, and the big trucks were ready to work. Let's hoist, said Crane. Let's push, said Dozer. Let's dig, said Digger. Together, they built tall buildings for working. So there is Crane. Here is Digger. And here is Dozer. They built roads for driving. Look at all those roads and bridges for crossing. It's the bridge they're trying to make right now. They built and built until the loud whistle blew. I'm beat, said Crane. Me too, said Dozer. The other big trucks took a break, but Digger did not. Hmm, what do you think he's looking at? Let me bring it closer, my friends. What do you think he's looking at? Right there. He had found something in the rubble. Rubble is another way of saying dirt and rocks together. All those rocks together. Hello there, he said. The flower was tiny, but it was beautiful. Look how small it is. Every day, while the other big trucks built, Digger visit the flower. See, there's Dozer pushing dirt and Crane putting up metal beams. And here's Digger, the flower. He watered it when it leaves look dry. Just like how we get thirsty, plants need water too, you guys. He shielded it. He shielded it on windy days. 
Oh my goodness, look at that wind. Even Digger's trying to hold on. Wind's blown in his face. He's got to close his eyes. And just before he switched off for the night, Digger sang the flower a bedtime song. Oh, that was very nice. See, it grew from there to here. Look how big it is now. The flower grew, but the city grew too. Soon, every space had been filled. Every space but one. Hmm, what space did not get filled, you guys? Look at all these buildings. What space are they talking about? Can you point to it? Yep, there it is, right here. I just had to double check to see if it wasn't stuck. We need to put a building here, said Crane. Dozer started his engine. Before Digger could stop him. Oh no. They're going to climb over that flower. What do you think is going to happen? Before Digger could stop him, what do you think happened, you guys? I don't know. We'll have to see. Dozer blew a big puff of smoke and cut the flower down. With his blade, he cut it down. Oh no. How does Digger feel? How can he tell? Yeah, look at his eyes. They look sad. Then the other big trucks went back to work, but Digger did not. Oh, look, my friends. What's Digger doing? Yeah, he's crying. Look at the flower. When the smoke cleared, Digger saw something in the rubble. Little seeds. He said, hmm, what do you think Digger's going to do with those seeds, friends? Hmm, let's turn the page and see. He scooped them up and drove. Where do you think he's going? Here are the seeds. Let's see. He drove past the tall buildings, past the farthest house on the farthest street. Wow, he drove a long time. Still has those seeds. He drove to a place no big truck had ever been. Wow. Look at all of this green. Grass and trees. It's like mountains or hills or something. Looks very big. There, Digger stopped. He dug, 
and scooped. And tuck the seeds into the warm earth. What do you think is going to happen if you put those seeds in the ground, friends? Maybe, let's see. Every day, Digger cared for the seeds. He watered them when their leaves looked dry. Oh, look. He shielded them on windy days. There was some strong wind over there again. Look at those flowers. And he's trying to protect them. And just before he switched off for the night, Digger sang the flowers a bedtime song. Look how tall those flowers are now. And I believe that's it. Yep, my friends, that's the end of our story. Look, there's more. So there's a lot more seeds and flowers than just right there where he took them. Wow. The end. I hope that you enjoyed this story today. I want you to write about how, if you were Digger, how would you take care of the flowers? Would you water them? Would you sing them a bedtime story? I hope that you have a great evening, friends. Bye!